IU confirmed as last Korean soloist, sparking debate and reflecting on the music industry. Seoul, June 20, 2024 IU, the South Korean music icon who has dominated the solo scene for more than a decade, took center stage in a recent exclusive interview. In the interview, IU accidentally brought up the title of The Last Korean Soloist, which sparked various reactions among K-pop fans and music industry observers. A long dedication in Korean music. IU, whose real name is Lee ji -yoon, has built a reputation as one of the most influential solo singers in Korean music history. Her debut in 2008 with the song Lost Child not only introduced her incredible vocal talent, but also marked the beginning of a journey full of accomplishments in this competitive industry. Since then, IU has released a number of albums that have received commercial and critical success, including albums such as Real, 2010, Modern Times, 2013, and Palette, 2017. Each release is not only well-received by fans, but also solidifies his position as an artist who can adapt well to changing musical tastes and trends. The Last Korean Soloist, A Confusing Predicate In a recent interview with a well-known fashion magazine, IU was asked about her personal views on her current status in the Korean music industry. In a short statement, IU responded humbly, I am honored, but also feel responsible for this title. Reactions to IU's statement varied from admirers who praised her dedication in shaping the modern image of soloists to those who were concerned by the implication that IU might signal the end of an era of soloists who focused more on personal and creative exploration. Kim Soo Young, a known music observer, gave her views, IU has become a symbol of success and adaptation in Korean music. Although the title of last soloist may evoke nostalgia, we should not ignore the changes and diversification in emerging music types and styles. The future of soloists in the dynamics of the music industry. The question that arises from IU's statement is whether the next generation will continue the tradition of strong soloists, or whether the group trend will continue to dominate the Korean music scene. Although IU emphasized that this title was an honor, Many wondered who would take over the role as the next lead soloist capable of determining the future direction of Korean music. As the music industry continues to evolve, both through technology and social change, the future of soloists like IU will depend on their ability to adapt to change and take advantage of new opportunities as they arise. This discussion not only sparked debate, but also strengthened the commitment to understanding and appreciating Korea's ever-changing musical heritage. As IU continues to innovate and explore the boundaries in her works, one thing that is certain is that her impact will remain felt long after the title of the last Korean soloist is no longer relevant. Thus, IU has become not only a legend in Korean music history, but also a pioneer who continues to inspire future generations to pursue excellence in the art of music. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the latest news.